Hi, my name is Mila Kucher. I came from Ukraine one and a half year ago. Um, today I have a conversation with Tanya. She came from Ukraine 25 years ago. Tanya, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Tanya. I came from Ukraine 25 years ago with my family. Uh, it was family of 10. And we came, um, I was attending eighth grade. I finished uh, last six weeks of, the, of eighth grade here. And um, I always lived in Washington. And uh, now I have a family of my own of uh, four kids and uh, a husband. And we all live in Tarawai, Washington, still. Um, okay, what uh, languages are you fluent in? I am fluent in Ukrainian and English. I also do speak Russian very well. Mm, share with us your um, group or community you identify with. I identify with Ukrainian community and uh, I do attend Ukrainian church with which I'm involved with. Uh, what was it like to attend school in your country versus in the U.S.? Um, it was a big culture shock when I came to U.S. and came to school. Uh, in Ukraine, I all went to seventh grade. I was actually went half a year into eighth grade, and we moved to United States in March. So I did not go to school for a while. Um, and in Ukraine, it's different structure. Um, in a classroom, we had one teacher, like home uh, homeroom teacher, and a homeroom uh, classroom where we went. The teacher would be with us from fifth grade until we graduate, uh, which at that time was 11th grade. And that teacher, for myself, I had a math teacher. So she taught uh, math for us and we stayed in one classroom. Um, only we, live, uh, we would leave our classroom and we go to art classroom, music, PE, or like chemistry uh, specialty classrooms. Also uh, in Ukraine, we had to sit like this, we'd have to raise our hand and sit down. When teacher would enter the classroom, we all had to stand up. We would have to say hello and wait for the instructor to tell us to sit down. And then the class would go on. Uh, class was for about 45 minutes. Uh, first in US, when we came, class was 55 minutes. So it was kind of seemed forever. Those extra 10 minutes seemed very long. But on the other hand, we did not have to sit at assigned seats and we could talk to our friends during the class a little. And if we had, uh, for example, at math class, if we had questions, we could ask each other or a teacher. So it was a little bit more relaxed compared to Ukraine. Um, also here, we did not have a home, uh, home teacher, which means every class, different teacher. And uh, we had to go from class to class. We only have five minutes. Uh, lunch here is more fun than Ukraine too. Um, and it's, more different variety food, so it was also hard to get used to their lunches in U.S. But uh, in general, I really like school in the U.S. Um, when I moved from middle school to high school, it was, uh, again, much more fun and seemed more relaxed. I really enjoyed school, high school. And then I went to college. Um, college was a different, totally different what I imagined, what I heard from Ukraine. And it was a lot of fun. And then I went to university. And with all of those, I really enjoyed uh, learning here. And uh, it was hard because at first I did not know English. Second, my grammar, it's totally different than in Ukraine, the language and writing, so it was really hard. But I had my other siblings, younger ones, who helped me out. They would check my essays, correct me, and help me out with that. So it was nice to have younger siblings whose English, they could check English much easier and faster. Mm, okay, tell us some of the benefits of being uh, multilingual. Uh, the benefits. Uh, one thing when I, I was a kid, um, maybe a second year in the US, it was nice because they would pull you out of class so you can help other students uh, interpreting uh, for them. So it was fun. When I grow up um, and uh, now many Ukrainians come, I'm able to help people uh, interpret at the appointments, schedule appointments, helping them out with filling out paperwork. Um, also, uh, it's a big benefit for work. I work as a federal public school employee. I do interpretations. So I interpret at the parent conferences, at the evaluations. Also, I do translations for public schools. I get um, 
emails with documents that I need to translate and uh, send them back. So also you can have a job that uh, you like and you get to pay, uh, paid for the language you know already, so it's kind of fun. And um, my other job that I got, they also pay me an extra dollar just because I know another language. So there's benefit of that as well. Um, what advice you have for others like um, me who have similar culture background? Definitely um, stick to your language. Don't be afraid to speak it and uh, keep your language. Uh, the other thing when you learn English, don't be ashamed to speak up when you, you think you make a mistake. Speak up. Say it in English. Uh, it's best to make mistakes and learn from them than not to try and it's going to take you longer to learn. So don't be ashamed speaking another language. Another thing, um, when you go to college, uh, talk to your counselors, advisors, ask them how to set up your schedules, what classes to take. Any questions, go and ask them for their advice. That's what, why they're there. And it's going to help you out to plan your college and to go on further. Um, don't be afraid to ask people questions and don't be ashamed of your accent because people like that and um, it is attractive and uh, uh, it shows that you're actually trying. And so always uh, be proud of who you are. Don't be ashamed to be Ukrainian and don't be ashamed to try uh, speaking English, uh, helping others. Um, thank you for this conversation. This information was very useful to us. Look.